My name's Captain Graham Hood, formerly of Qantas Airways, a 32-year command veteran. I made a video rant about a month ago that went viral all around the world, and I've been swamped by messages from thousands and thousands of people. I'm getting at least 5,000 messages a day that I'm aware of, and I can't respond to all of them. But the ones I read are all telling the same story. We've lost our, we've lost our spirit in Australia, we're losing our nation, and we, we need to do something about it. But the thing that touches me most of all is that a great many people who are saying no to the jab at the moment are losing their jobs. Now, these are everyday Australians. They're also very well-educated Australians. I'm talking about thousands of nurses and hundreds of doctors and paramedics and pilots and police who are all saying the same thing. We cannot give informed consent. Now, these aren't fools. Many of these people have got numerous degrees. They've studied all their lives. They're living in the passion of the career that they desperately want to maintain and keep going. And they can't because of a draconian legislation that is denying them their right to continue in their impassioned career serving the people of this country. That has to stop. And I'm really glad to see that, it, that in the legal cases going ahead at the moment, that some real questions are being asked. And not all the judges are agreeing. Some are actually speaking up. So my message to any of you at this moment who are thinking you're gonna lose your jobs, when they're importing employees to fill your positions from overseas, when Australians can't back, get back to their own country, we've got a problem. And you hold the line. You stand strong, you stay in your truth, and you hold the line, because we're not gonna let this go down without having a big say. It's time to say no, nah. and that's what we're doing. We're saying no, just in the spirit of the Anzacs. So hang on, and we're proud of you. And you're not alone, there's thousands of you. Hundreds of police officers in all states are saying no. Nah. They're saying no nah because they felt that they signed up to serve and protect. <laughs> to the boys and girls in blue that are standing here and anyone who's going to be listening to this, I'm working very closely with former New South Wales Senior Constable Alex Cooney. I'm working with, with uh, currently suspended paramedic John Larter. And I'm working with New South Wales science teacher, Big Mac. <laughs> moment is in Sydney saying similar words to me and he's representing 20,000 teachers who are saying no. no. I've been contacted by a group of police officers in Victoria numbering in excess of 200 who are sick of being used for draconian measures that they don't support. No. They are making videos now to go viral. Next week, they will start a new national police union. Yeah. Yeah. The union which already represents 9,000 doctors and nurses. And they're all saying, no. No. So if anybody's interested in that organisation and uh, the lads and, and ladies in blue, go to a website, policeforfreedom.org. Yeah. I think there is a chink in the armour. I think despite the efforts of mainstream media who just seem to cover things very loosely, to say the least, I think the truth is starting to filter through. Yeah. It's only going to filter through if you really stand. It's time to step out of the shadows in peaceful protest and make your voices heard. The crippled and wounded and maimed And they shipped it back home to Australia The armless, the legless, the blind and insane Or the brave wounded heroes of Suva And as the ship pulled into Circular Quay I stared at the place where my legs used to be I thank God there was nobody waiting for me to grieve or to mourn or to pity. And the band played Walsing Matilda. And year after year those old men disappeared. Soon no one will march there at all. And now every April I sit on my porch and I watch the parade pass before me. I see my old comrades out there that night.
the young people ask, what were they marching for? We ask ourselves the same question. The band played waltzing Matilda, and the old men they answered the call. Year after year those old men disappeared. Soon no one will march there anymore. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda, you come a waltzing Matilda. And their ghosts can be heard when we pass by the Billabong. Come a waltzing Matilda with me. Hold the line.